AB 2, or SB 277 removes our state's personal belief exemption, forcing an open-ended list of vaccinations on our children, even when there's no f philosophical, religious, or medical reasons not to comply. California children, your California children, have a constitutional right to an education. <laughs> this bill stops that. This bill also threatens your freedom. California, if this bill passes, will be one of three states with no personal or religious exemption. What's next if this bill passes? Let's take this exact bill and remove the word vaccine. And what do you get? Sacramento politicians, some of them up here, they don't trust you as parents. They assume you're ignorant or stupid. They think that you can't be trusted with the care of your own children. But they have forgotten who they work for. There are voter registration cards floating around this audience. Fill out a voter registration card and tell them that you're going to register your vote with the people that support your right and your freedom to choose what's best for your child. There is no public health crisis here uh, that warrants this law. These politicians don't want you to think for yourself. They think they are better parents than you are. And they are annoyed that you are clogging up their hallways. They are... They are demanding to be left alone. They are annoyed that you are not compliant. They don't want you to question their wisdom or their expertise. They don't want you demanding your freedom or your constitutional rights for your children to a good quality education. They think they have the final say so. I have four daughters. Their main statement to me is, hello, they're your kids. Right? Ultimately, these people in this building, most of them don't believe in your parental rights. And um, they might say that, that they do believe in your parental rights, but only if you agree with them. If you disagree with them, then they don't. Devin, who you just served with, I, I'm apologizing, Assembly Member Mathis, who you just served, or just... Uh, listen to and myself have taken an oath when we joined the United States Army and when we've been elected on the state assembly floor and sworn into office and all of us put our hand in the air to swear to defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, all enemies, foreign and domestic, including Dr. Pan. or defending the freedom of parents like you. Your voter registration will make a difference. It really will. Find the people that are passing it out, fill it out, and when you walk into that hearing room, you tell them you oppose SB 277 and you have your voter registration card to prove it. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. Because if they take this from you and you cower down, this will not be the last thing they take from you. Stand up and make your voices heard and continue to do it. It really does make a difference. God bless you and thank you for being here.